Some people say a man is made out of mud. Hi, this is John Moore of the Denver Center, reporting from Fort Collins. On November 3rd, Pulitzer Prize winning playwright and Oscar winning screenwriter John Patrick Shanley came to Colorado State University for a weekend working with theater students on his latest play, Bang. His attempt, he said, at writing a Hitchcockian story with a female protagonist. The weekend culminated with a public stage reading and panel conversation. Thirty-one years and twenty-five plays. Uh, the Academy Award for Moonstruck, Pulitzer Prize for Doubt, and he's here. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate it. How can you pass up a chance to meet an Oscar winner who got up and thanked everybody who ever punched or kissed me in my life and everybody <laughs> who I ever punched or kissed? <laughs> That's really the reason I wrote the play, is that feeling, that feeling of knowing you're hurt, and at the same time, emotionally, not feeling that you have to learn. But that, that's, that's very interesting to me. Did you say you were thinking about cutting the scene in the hotel between? Yes, I thought of that. It's a scary scene. Whatever, like, there's two people on stage going, I love you, I'm crazy, I'm well, like, all right, maybe we should get rid of it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, my working title for this, which is, by working title, I mean, I never intended to call it this, but it helps me figure out how to write the play, was Hitchcock Woman. It's like I want to write a play about a woman who could be in a Hitchcock film. And to me, A-Line could be in a Hitchcock film. Oh, yeah. And she's got that going on. And I wanted to do that as much as anything because I'm like, I don't see that woman on stage. And it's a fascinating kind of woman. And I remember, uh, being in Paris at an outdoor cafe on Saint-Germain. Beautiful spring day, sparrows on the tables nibbling at your poisson. <laughs> and at another table, I saw a woman that I feel I'd seen 50 times in my life. Incredibly chic, sitting alone, heavy sunglasses, immobile, never doing anything for an hour. And I'm like, who is that? <laughs> what is going on? You know? And she's out of Hitchcock movie. And I know that A-Line could very easily end up at that cafe. Yeah. So you have a new play um, near Mullingar? Outside Mullingar, Outside Mullingar is my new play. Chanley was asked about his Broadway-bound play Outside yes. Mullingar. It stars Deborah Messing and Brian F. O'Byrne and opens in previews in New York on January 3rd. Yeah. Well, um, what, what is that romantic comedy consists of that's different significantly from this piece? Whoa, that play is so different from this play. <laughs> <laughs> that play is, is set on a farm in Ireland uh, and uh, is about a, 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 a farmer who's never married and uh, a woman who lives next door on the next farm who's never married. <coughs> And she's had her eye on him his whole life. And, but he's not going there. He is not going there. And it's a, it's a celebration of language. And it's uh, very funny and very touching. And it's about these very eccentric people who resemble somewhat members of my family. <laughs> uh, so it's a really, the tone, everything about it is just a different, this is a world. You know, getting movies made just cost so much money. Uh, so, I mean, that's one of the reasons that I just don't like doing them as much. Because there's so much money involved that people get crazy. And it's not, the way they get crazy is not that interesting. I'm always interested in the best idea in the room, whether it's mine or somebody else's. You're trying to put on a show. You're trying to tell a story. And it's a communal effort, whether it's a film or a play. I mean, I went to war with Warner Brothers once for a year. But other than that, I never really had a serious problem with somebody trying to alter my work for a nefarious purpose. Usually they're trying to save me from myself. <laughs> the problem is your own shortcomings as uh, an artist. I mean, it's really hard to do these things and to get it right. And I've done a lot of plays, and I've done a decent number of films, and most of them have failed. And that's kind of the norm. In fact, I have a high batting average of doing pretty good, but I've 
failed much more than I've succeeded. And a big part of it is coming to terms with that and going like, that's part of the game. I'm not going to worry about the trail of carnage I'm leaving behind. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going until somebody throws a net over me and takes me down. <laughs>